Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this pot holder, which is a double thick diagonal pot holder done in Tunisian knit stitch. And as you can see, the seam is in two different directions. So it's actually done in rounds and it's much easier than you might think. Super cool and really, really thick. So let's get started. In order to crochet the double thick diagonal pot holder done in Tunisian knit stitch, you're going to need one skein or possibly two skeins of yarn of the same yarn. You're going to need cotton yarn. I'm using a We Crochet's Dishy yarn right here. I'm using one skein of yarn and pulling one strand of yarn from the inside and one from the outside. However, keep in mind that may twist your yarn. So if you feel uncomfortable with that, just grab two skeins of yarn. Uh, that way it makes it easier. You will also need a Tunisian crochet hook. I'm using a clover hook here that has the same hook size on either end. This is a 5.5 millimeter Tunisian crochet hook double end it with the same hook size. Chain 30. Start with just single crochet stitches. So go into the back bump of your chain starting from the second chain from the hook and simply crochet single crochet stitches. That's going to be our foundation in order to crochet around it in rounds, Tunisian crochet rounds of using the Tunisian knit stitch. Once you're done, you are now going to crochet around this entire row. So that means you're going to work on both sides. So let me use this crochet hook to just point at it. So we're going to go around here all the way around and then come back on this side. So that way we're going in rounds and rounds and rounds. So we're going to start with a Tunisian simple stitch for one round, just that we have a foundation. So insert your hook into each stitch and pull up a loop. So that's all you're going to do. So we're going to do one round of the Tunisian simple stitch. However, you're not going to do the entire round at one time. You're going to go as far as you can and then we're going to start doing the reverse path on the other side of your crochet hook. So just pull up a few loops as many as you can or many as you can hold. If you have a bigger hook, you may be able to pull up a lot more loops, but I'm just going to do a few here for now. So this is good for now. Now you're going to use the opposite side of your skein or use a new skein of yarn and attach it to the back side. So we are over here with one strand of yarn and now we're going to turn our project and we're going to attach a new skein or the same skein but the opposite side of your skein. So in this case this is the outside strand of my skein and I'm going to pull it through once and then from now on pull it through twice. So I'm going to work this up as a return pass until I have roughly two or three stitches left on my hook. I think this is good. So I'm going to stop right here. I have four loops on my hook. And now I'm going to let this one go and come back to my forward path. So we're going to continue pulling up loops. Again, this is still the foundation in order to then crochet the Tunisian knit stitch. But we have to do the, the Tunisian simple stitch first in order to have a foundation. So now I'm at the end right here. And I'm going to stop for now just so I can do the return pass now. So I'm going to turn it around again. And now I'm going to work on my return pass. So I'm going to work it up until I have roughly again three to four loops on my hook left. So I have three loops left. Now I'm going to turn and now I'm going to work um, on the other side here. So be careful you have that extra loop right here. So ignore that. That is that. Remember when I said in the beginning we said chain 31 and then start from a second chain from the hook where there's one extra loop right here that we skipped and so make sure you don't use that one. So now insert your hook into that next one and that's only for this corner run right here okay and then continue pulling up loops. You're going to do that until the end of the round. Keep working up your return pass as you have um, enough 
loops on your hook. So that's roughly about halfway of your project, unless you have a bigger hook. So now we finished the first round of Tunisian crochet. So now we're just going to use the Tunisian knit stitch. So in each stitch, so look at your stitches. So through each stitch, you're going to do the Tunisian knit stitch. So each vertical bar, so simply go through and pull up a loop. Go through and pull up a loop. So just look at your vertical bars like so. And you're simply going through to the back. So instead of forward, like the Tunisian simple stitch, you're going to go to the back and pull up a loop. So now we're going to do the exact same process for rounds after rounds using the Tunisian knit stitch. So just pull up loops. And when you have enough loops on your hook, you're going to do the reverse path. So then you're going to turn around and work on the reverse path. Now, you can do that as many stitches as you like and just gonna go round after round. You're gonna continue until your height is half of your length. So you can see this is about nine inches roughly. And this direction is about four and a half, okay? Once you're done with that, you're gonna stop roughly in the middle of your project of one of the sides and now you're going to take it and fold it inwards and now we're going to sew the center here together so you're going to start on one end you can totally do slip stitches or i'm just going to go back and forth and sew the pieces together so one stitch at a time and just pull through the mattress stitch is probably the cleanest one what you're going to do is you're going to run your your needle on one side pull through and then go to the other side and also do that. So just go piece by piece back and forth as a zigzag and then keep pulling and it's going to close it up neatly right there. Once you're done, it's going to look like this. You're going to have um, a seam on both sides because you're gonna you started with a seam where you had your foundation row right here so one seam is going to go in this direction and the other seam is going to go this direction it is such a beautiful way to create a really thick uh, pot holder and it's done in rounds but slightly differently than you would expect i also added a small little loop which is done with 10 chains and then just sew it up and you're good to go and you're done with your double thick diagonal tunisian crochet knit stitch pot holder i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you are going to use the same yarn or if you're going to use a different yarn i absolutely love knit picks i absolutely love we crochet's dishy yarn and it's perfect for this project i'll leave a link down below for the written pattern as well as links to the hook as well as the yarn. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're gonna want to, I promise you do.